Hi guys, it's Promise Sebastian here again with another awesome Blender tutorial. So I got a request from my subscribers asking to do a tutorial on the T-shirt model or the polo model, okay? So I'm going to be teaching how to do that in this tutorial, okay? So for you to model a clue like this, you need a dummy body. So you're going to be getting that on the description link. I'm going to show you guys the dummy body. So you're going to be using that, okay? So I'm going to be starting up a new project. I'm going to be closing this. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button as i drop awesome content like this every week here on my channel okay so i'm going to be closing this i'll head over to the file here and i'll head over to new general and then click on general so now i have my default keyboard i'm going to be deleting this now so i'll click on the delete key on my keyboard and it's out okay so i'll hold shift and then press and hold my middle mouse button and punch through my view so i'm going to bring in the dummy body which you're going to use to get the t-shirt model so i'm going to head over to file now let's click and then head over to append now so i'll left click on append now so i'm going to go to where the blender file is so i saved it on my stress so note where you saved your own blender file that you'll be getting from the description link so you get it from there so this is the clothes tooth that's right i tag the blender file so we're going to head over to object because that's where the object there are a lot of stuffs in that file so the what we want to use is the dummy body so i'm going to click on that dummy body and then click on append now so it brings the dummy body in here on blender so i'm good to go with this so i'll just let's click on an empty scene so it will select the dummy body so now i'm going to use the x flat view now that's with the gizmo now so I have my flat view here on the x axis so now i'm going to add a plane now so i will shift a from mesh now scroll to plane now let's click on the plane so i have the plane but is actually here on the origin here so i'm going to press g now and then z to constrain it on the z as it's drag it up and then arrow to rotate now and then i want it to rotate on the y axis so i will click y again and then i'm going to click 90 because that's the angle i want it i want it to just be flat this way so i'm going to scale this now so i'll click x to scale this and then drag my mouse inward to reduce the size of this plane now so it's really small something like this so i can i can scale it the more now so i can scale it so i'm going to use the y uh flat view so i can see the side view of this now so look at where the plane is so i'll press g now then constrain it to the y axis and then uh, to the x axis and then drag it to the front here so it's at the chest here now so here is looking great so now we're going to add a mirror modifier to this and then a shrink wrap modifier so to shrink wrap it on this body so we'll head over to our modifier tab now head over to add modifier now we're going to add a mirror modifier now so if i head over to the edit mode now you're going to see the mirror now so i'm going to switch from vertex mode to edge mode now so if i press g now and grab this so you are see it's mirroring but now it's mirroring um vertically which i don't i want it to mirror horizontally not vertically so i'm going to change the mirror from x to y now and then it's mirroring um horizontally now so this is great so we are going to on the clipping so it's not going to be separating from each other like this so we'll check this clipping here on the modifier here modifier tab and then if i press g now and grab to the left you see now it's now clipping so i can keep this to somewhere here then with the edge mode selected here now call left click and then box select just this edge so if i press g and then grab you're going to see what i'm getting so this is great now so we're going to add the shrink wrap modifier but then let me press g and then move my mouse inward to kind of reduce the size of this so we'll add the shrink wrap modifier from this modifier tab i'll click on add modifier head back to the shrink wrap modifier you can see it here shrink wrap so i'll left click on it now and then the shrink wrap modifier has been added so there are variety of options here but the one you'll be using monthly mostly is this snap mode so you have snap insides outside above surface so i use often this above and then outside surface so we're going to be using above surface so it makes sure that the plane is above the surface that's the dummy body we are using to snap it to okay so now we are going to take our target now let's click on this eyedropper icon now and then take it over to the body because that's the body we want it to snap to you can see where it reads target so I'll left click on that now so it's now snapped to the body now and then you see it's now snap above surface and then another thing you need to check for this now if you see if i start extruding this and dragging it out you see it's not going to be properly snapping to it's not going to properly snap to the body because with this shrink wrap modifier added because the snapping is not on so we need to on the snapping so it's going to properly snap on the body even with this shrink wrap modifier it's not going to properly snap if you're extruding out as probably if you've actually extruded out complete that's when you just add the string cap modifier and it's going to snap okay now with now we have the snapping checked now so we'll have to change from this increment now to face nearest this face nearest is the one you use when you're using a string cap modifier so this will make sure that the plane is on the face now so with all these settings now we are good to go above surface or outside surface and then snap to the take the target to the body 
and then add the shrink wrap uh, add the snapping and then change from increment to face project so with all these settings we are good to go okay now let's start extruding out and then let me, i will use the y flat view now to extrude that piece so we'll start extruding out with our mirror on now so i'm going to g to grab out here then x to scale this that edge a little bit now so you can use alt z to to see through what you're doing whenever you feel like you are not seeing it again okay so let's start extruding it to extrude that this it to extrude that this again it to extrude that so you can use the poly builder too but i often like using the e to extrude because i enjoy using that so it to extrude again here it to extrude so it's kind of getting curvy so we need to amend it so it's best to amend any little deformation here rather than when it gets big now you start trying to amend all the whole deformation okay so now it's getting slanted you can just click arrow now to rotate this and then it's rotated e again to extrude out then e again to extrude that so it gets close to the hand so now we've gotten the hand now so we'll start extruding up to this side and then we are going to get all the whole the top and the whole um shoulder here so we get all this place now so once we get here We'll now select all of them and extrude it out and it's going to give us our complete float t-shirt model okay so i would alt and then let's click on that edge so it selects the, it selects through the whole edges that are connected so i can use alt z so i can see through and see what it's looking like so this is great now so i'll click alt z again and then it's back to the normal view that is x-ray that's what oxy or, or z is so press e to extrude that to drag up now then here and then we can click e to extrude again drag up here then it to extrude again drag up here and then it to extrude again drag up here then let's start adjusting this now so we can do some adjustment so now for you to adjust this properly and fast you need to on what i call proportional editing here is in blender you should know what it is if you don't know it's called proportional editing okay so what it does it edits all this all this mesh or whatever face age of that is proportionally so let me switch over to vertice mode so if i like click on one vertice now then i press g now you're going to see a circle let me scroll in now the circle is too big so if i scroll in the amount of this circle is the amount of effect is going to be giving the meshes that are connected so if i increase the size of this um circle now so if i try to drag now you see the effect will touch all the whole circle all the whole vertices that are enclosed in this circle so that's how it works so you need it to actually edit this really fast so we can use the on um, x-ray view so we're going to be seeing it now so I'll, I'll drag this to somewhere here let's click on this one g to grab it down here let's click on this other one g to grab it up so it's a polo so it, it's kind of need to be curved here kind of curved we need a curved so i can drag this up here then g to grab this one up then let's click on this one g to grab this guy down so this is great now this is great so let's work on this side to make sure that it's kind of really straight here not curved like this so i will let click on one vertex now g to grab and then i can scroll in to reduce the size of my the circle so the circle once you scroll in you reduce the size once you scroll out you increase the size so if i scroll out i reduce the size if i scroll in my mouse i increase the size so i can drag this now so i will let click on this other third vertex and then hold shift and then press and hold my middle mouse button to pan and then g again to grab increase the size of my circle so it grabs it very well so somewhere there i think it's great now so i think it's just this other circle that is left so g to grab this one then g to grab this other one g to grab let's click on this one g to grab click on this other one g to grab so i think i've actually adjusted all this so i can still adjust this one it needs to be very flat and straight so that when you're extruding out it's going to be easy that's why you need to just do this when it's just small like this if you extrude this to here you it will kind of get a lot of deformation and when you are trying to adjust it, it it is going to give you a lot of headache so now let's head back to edge mode now and then select the connecting edge with alt now let's click and select all the whole connecting edge so it's selecting this one as well so what i can do is use this my selection to change to subtract from existing selection and then box select this side so from this subtract is this selection box select this side as well so it has removed that edge so we'll start extruding again it will extrude drag out then it will extrude again drag out and then it will extrude again drag out here and then it will extrude again drag out there then it will extrude again drag out there okay so we'll need to connect this side now we need to connect this side because that's the one that will join with the the back of the cloth so we are going to make sure this um this edge here is also plain as well so we will start want to move out of artist mode let's click on that with our professional editing on again 
to drag this one down then click on this one drag let's click on this other vertex g to drag it down then let's click on this other one g to drag it down and i think it's it's actually matching so let's click on the other vertex g to drag this one off let's click on this other vertex g to grab it off let's click on this other one g to grab it off it's actually matching so g to grab this one down let's click on that one g to grab it down let's click on this other one g to grab it and then let's click on this other one g to grab it down. let's click on this other one g to grab it down. so let's click on this one g again to grab it so i think this is matching now let's click and then g to grab so this is now flat and then looking okay so now we're going to join these other vertices now so i can let's click on these vertices now drag it down so it's not stretched too much so let's click on this one g to grab it so this is great now so let's join here now so we'll head back to edge mode let's click on this other edge let's click on this other edge now then it will shoot out here and then we can click x to scale because it's kind of expanding too much scale it a little bit it will shoot now here again to extrude so make sure our clipping is on okay so our clipping is also is going to clip once it gets there so it will extrude now so you see now here has been clipped because our clipping is on so now here is now joined now so we can move over to vertice mode now move press the vertice mode left click on this other one g to grab it to kind of make it curved is a cloth so it's going to be curved okay so we are going to add the, our cloth is not going to be like this we are going to add the subdivision surface modifier to this okay so it kind of look very smooth when we are done so i'll hold off to get alt again and select the connecting edge now and then start extruding down again it will extrude now then it will extrude again then it will extrude again then it will extrude again so now it's time to join the hand there so we can extrude this one as well so let's hold alt and select the connecting edge again it will extrude down then it will extrude here again so now we can still adjust this so let's hold alt z or z again i think i can see it so want to move out to vertice mode again let's click on this vertice g to grab it eh? click on this other vertice g to grab it there eh? Let's click on that one G to grab it to the left there. And then let's click on this other vertex G to grab it down. Let's click on this one G to grab it. So we can increase the size of our proportional editing to kind of drag it very well. So we can drag this here. Okay, so this is looking great. I think I can now start extruding now from here. Let me press this one and then G. Let's click on it G to grab it. Let's click on this other one G to grab it. And then let's click on this one G. Now drag it here. Let me use the side view. Hold my middle mouse button and pan. Let's click on this other vertex G to grab somewhere here. Let's click on this one again. G to grab. Click on this one. G to grab. Then let's click on this one again. G to grab somewhere here. Let's click on this one. G to grab. Okay, so this is now looking uh flat and plain, but not not that perfect. You can still adjust it. So press G now and grab this. Press G again. Grab this one. Let's click on that one. G to grab. So we want it to be flat. So we can now merge it together so this is now this one is flat now it's plain so now we can press on this other vertex g to grab it here and let's click on this one g to grab it so it's looking flat so now this is looking great now let's start extruding two to head back to edge mode now select all to select the okay it's going through so instead of doing this so we'll just select them one after the other there are not much edge there they are back just four edge so hold shift again just select and select so once you hold shift you can select and select. so we press e to extrude now then x to scale and then x again to scale the to scale in the x axis and then so e to extrude x to scale and then x to scale on the x axis so once we drag our mouse inward it's going to extrude that now so you can see that our mesh is not actually joining very well there we'll just bring it closer and then we can use g now you, okay x to scale again instead of extruding now so we can off this proportional editing now and then x to scale on the x axis x to scale and then drag these guys so they are close to each other so somewhere there is great so now let's join these now by joining using we can use merge by distance merging the two edges by distance so but you can see the number of edge division for this one is not the same as this so it's going to affect us when we want to merge it so we kind of divide this one so it's of the same number of edges on this one i guess so we'll have about one two three four edges here and we'll just have two edges here so what we can do we'll head back to face mode select on this face use the 
uh, that's the bisect to and then bisect this edge and then left click on this other edge again bisect this edge again so we'll have about four edges as well here so we can use the vertex mode to one and then select this one and select this so we can merge it by merging at last so merge this vertex to this one select this one select this one m merge at last so we can also use merge by distance and merge all of them so m merge at last so it's kind of merging select this other vertex select this other one M to match at last and then select this one and select this one m to match at last so it has actually matched all the whole paper you see it's kind of drag so what i can do is hold uh, move back to edge mode select all the whole whole edge and then x to scale down the z axis and scale it a little bit so it's not that kind of drag so i can now move back to vertex mode now g to grab grab this down g to grab um, let's click on g to grab let's here g to grab grab it down then this is looking great so we'll make sure that this is now perfect like this so we can extrude it out so we'll just in left uh, on back our proportional editing and then left click on this vertex g to grab increase the size of our grab brush so once we drag it's going to drag them very fast so left click on this one g to grab very fast left click on that one g to grab very fast and then left click on this one g to grab we can reduce the size of that brush a little and then this is perfect for that back there and then we'll do the same for this front here again let's click on that one g to grab now then there let's click on this one g to grab here let's click on this one g to grab here then let's click on this one g to grab let's click there on that that is g to grab then this is great i think here is where we'll have a little issue so i will increase the size of my brush left click the g to grab increase the size of my proportion editing i mean then reduce the size a little bit so this is straight here so we can left click on this vertex now g to grab draw this guy a little click on that one draw this guy so i'm adjusting this so once we start extruding it's going to be very easy for us we don't have to stress ourselves adjusting this again so this is great now all we can do is move back to edge mode now select hold alt and select all the whole round edges you see the whole edges now is now connecting together so it's very easy now it will extrude it will extrude it will extrude whatever amount you want to drag it out it will extrude it will extrude and then it will extrude and then it will extrude once it gets to the bottom it's going to lap up so this is it now we've gotten our close what we can just do now is head back to object mode now add a subdivision surface modifier to this so add the subdivision surface modifier increase to whatever level you feel like until it's smooth for you so i can hold or c to exit this now and then remove this my dummy body and check it so you see i now have my cloth now so you can adjust this smoothing it to whatever way you want and then make it look great okay so thanks for watching this awesome tutorial i have a blender course uh that explains everything you need to know about blender okay so check the description link to get the course is very very awesome okay so thanks for watching again see you on my next tutorial